What up? What up? What up? What up? All right. So if you can recall, you know, I'm on a roll here, baby. On a roll here. One of my uh, viewers had made a comment about the uh, school system. And I said that school system was a farce. Ah, now see, that's an interesting topic, the public school system. Because <clears throat> the public school system is a farce. It's a system set up for you to uh, become a great employee. Why don't you think they ever teach us to learn? Why don't they teach us to start a business? Why isn't that part of the curriculum? Well, I'm going to... I'm not going to say I'm going to prove it. What I'm going to say is that I have some further evidence, okay? The time has come for someone to put his foot down. And that foot is me. So I'm reading a book, How I Clobbered Every Bureaucratic Cash Confiscatory Agency Known to Man by Mary Elizabeth Croft. And in this book, it goes along with what I've been teaching you. Uh, basically how we're slaves to the system and how the system of money is really a farce within itself too. And within that book, cause I'm still reading it, I'm actually on page 17 out of 97 pages. Uh, they, she talks about the school system. When I was in grade three, my teacher was telling us about Magellan being the first white man to circumnavigate the globe. This wasn't particularly difficult for me to accept. And yet suddenly I sat back in my chair and looked at my fellow students and was hit by the realization. She could tell us anything. From that day on, I became highly suspicious of the true purpose of my being school. For those interested in education, I suggest you read John Taylor Gatto, Gatto, I'm going to assume, and in particular, The Underground History of American Education. Schooling is a huge waste of time, talent, energy, and creativity. There is little to learn that school offers until we are out doing what we want to be doing. Apprenticeship work, which is why the powers that be don't want apprenticeship uh, apprenticing anymore. They want us in government-operated schools to waste our lives learning what no one wants to learn and what no one needs to know. Now that's an interesting point, but also further proves what I was talking about as far as us not being uh, taught to run businesses. Back in my parents' time, baby boomers and all of that, they had to learn trades. As a matter of fact, when I in my time too, there were trade schools, Bullard Havens Tech, uh, I forgot the one that was out in Milford, and I'm talking about in Connecticut. You went to a tech school, and it was like frowned upon to go to tech schools because you're just learning skills. You're learning how to take up, you know, being a, a mechanic or being a stylist, a hairstylist or being a barber or something that has to do with your hands. But if you know those skills, no matter where you live on the planet, you can make money. And now those things are frowned upon or completely taken away. Have you paid attention to that? Pay attention to that. Now, I know that this particular post here is going to cause some problems within my family because I have educators in my family in hopes that they come in on this and comment and say what they have to say if they are going against what I'm saying. If they're agreeing with what I'm saying, that's even a plus. Let me also point this out. I'm not telling you don't put your kids in school. I'm telling you this is some information and you do what it what you will do with it. That book that I am talking about says that exact same thing, that you take information and you use it for what you are going to use it for. You govern yourself. So I do want you to understand that the point of this is just for you to, the, actually the point of why I'm telling you any of this stuff is just so that you are aware of it. What you do with it, you do with it, okay? Let's continue to move on. The entire concept of life is that we learn as we go. Children allowed to take responsibility and given a serious part in the larger world are always superior to those merely permitted to play and be passive. At the age of 12, Admiral Farragut got his first command. And I did a little research that I put in my handy dandy notebook here. Alexander the Great was 16. Nefertiti was 15 as a queen. Cleopatra was 18, while her brother, 
then the both of them received the throne. Her brother Ptolemy the Thirteenth was ten, and Emperor Hirohito, the longest standing emperor in Japan, was the crown prince at fifteen. Now, when you think of kids that age now, would you give them the presidency? No, but what would have been wrong with that if we were to stay and stick with what we see here? You understand what I'm saying? My mom didn't play games when me and my brother were younger. She didn't talk to us like little babies. She would do our voices, you know what I mean? But when she talked to us, and what I mean by doing our voices is she would, if some adult was interacting with a child, if an adult was interacting with us, she would do our voices acting as if she was speaking through us. But when she talked to us, and she dealt with us on the day-to-day. -day. She wasn't doing none of that baby talk with us. She spoke to us like adults, like little people. You understand what I'm saying? My ex-wife used to treat our kids as little people. Again, she used to do what my mom used to do. When the adults would interact with the kids, she would do the voice. But when it was time for us to deal with the kids, we did not talk to them as babies. Now, if you really pay attention to that, People who do that tend to have smart kids because they have the capability of having that intellect. You understand what I mean? But society and the way things are set up, we baby kids and we, we have them watching cartoons and we have them doing all sorts of stuff. But even if you pay attention to, to the cartoons, they have adult themes in them. You understand what I'm saying? Kids are a lot smarter nowadays than they used to be due to more information that they're being exposed to. That's not by accident, folks. That's not by accident. Again, take this information and do what it with you will. I'm not trying to say there's a conspiracy or any of that. All I'm saying is pay attention. That's why I'm telling you this stuff. Let's continue on. A psychologist once told me, don't ever do anything for any male over the age of 10 unless you are specifically asked. We are destroying our children by prolonging childhood which is what I was just saying. This is the design of the corporate monsters. Kids ought to be out doing what they want by age 12, and we ought to be available only for counsel. I told my boys that in my books, age 13 is the age of majority. Now here's where it's about to get interesting. It seems the purpose of the so-called educational system is not to educate us to be free thinking natural beings, but rather to distort what is really going on in the world and also convince us that we will be happy if we just get a good education in order to get a good job, in order to make a lot of money, in order to buy as many worthless items as possible, and thereby becoming dependent upon them, in order to create as much debt as possible, thereby enslaving us all on, us on all accounts, programming, slave labor, debt, addiction, and the ultimate confiscation of property. The first plank of the Communist Manifesto. Wow. So to sum it up, this, this is that bullshit. School is bullshit. <laughs> Let's argue. Later. <laughs> An invariable rule of humanity is that man is his own worst enemy. Under me, this rule will change, for I will restrain man. To help carry on our important work, I want you to join the secret squadron. To join the secret squadron. To join the secret squadron.